All right, so in this video, we're going to make it so that we can create a gallery. Well, we're going to create the form, then we're going to configure the database, uh, create the tables, and go from there. All right, so before we get into that, let's create our database. So in phpMyAdmin, um, we're going to create a new database. And we're going to call it photo gallery okay now we're not going to create our tables from here what we're going to do is we're going to create migration files within Laravel and then we'll run those and those will create the tables for us alright but first thing we need to do before we do that is configure our database now the file that we want to edit is the .env file that's in the root all right, so this right here. And you can see we have our DB parameters. Host is localhost. Database, we're going to say photo gallery. And then you want to put your database uh, username, which in my case is root, and then the password, whatever that is on with your database. All right, so I'm going to save that. And now we're going to make some migration files so to do that we can use PHP artisan alright so you want to be in your photo gallery uh, folder and we'll say uh, PHP artisan uh, and then we want to do make migration and let's say create underscore galleries underscore table and then we just want to tack on to that create uh, create equals galleries all right so let's run that okay so that didn't actually create the table it created the migration which we'll need to add our columns and stuff we also want a photos table, so we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to change this to photos and change this to photos. All right, and if we go to our app and we go to HTTP, actually, I'm sorry, we want to go to uh, database and then migrations, and you'll see we have these files here. Now, uh, the users table is actually included by default. We didn't create this. All right, and it also create a password resets table. So we want to keep those. We don't want to touch them. And then once we run the migrate function, it's going to create all of these for us. All right, so we need to do some editing to, to the galleries and the photos table. Um, you can see that this method here, create, is going to create, uh, it's going to create the table and by default, it'll give us an ID as a primary key, and then it'll create a couple timestamp uh, columns. We just want to add to this a little bit. So we'll add a name. So the format is going to be uh, table string, and that'll be called name. All right, we're also going to want a description. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to want a cover image. Okay, so this is going to be a string as well because we're not actually storing an image in the database. We're going to store the file name and then point to that location to, to show the image in the browser. Okay, so this will be cover image. And we're going to have one more, and that's going to be an integer. And that's going to be the owner ID. Okay, and this is going to be a foreign key to the, the user's table. All right, so we know which user uploaded which image. So that should be all set. And then down, this is if we want to roll back the migration and drop the galleries table. So we don't have to touch anything there. And let's just save that. Now we want to open up the photos one that we created. And we're going to want a lot of the same ones here. I'm just going to copy this and put that in here 
Now I do want to change the name field to a title field. So we'll have title, description, um, we can do a location. Feel free to add what you want here. Location, and then we're going to have the image itself uh, and owner ID. So that's all we need for the photos. So we'll save that. Okay, so just creating these didn't do anything. We have to actually run the migration. So to do that, we can say PHP artisan migrate, and that will run all of them. Okay, so now if we go to our database, reload, and now you can see we have a galleries table, we have a migrations table, password resets, photos, and users. If we go to photos, and go to structure, you can see that it has all the fields that we created. All right, so this, this is a lot better than having to go in and manually create every field, at least I think. Um, kind of takes a, a Ruby on Rails approach with the data um, database migrations. So now what we need to do is we want to uh, create the functionality that allows us to create a gallery. Now, we could use just regular HTML in our views, but I want to take advantage of some of the helpers uh, that are available. And there is a form helper that I don't think is available with Laravel Core, um, but there's this add-on, this Laravel Collective, which gives us a bunch of um, HTML helpers. So we're going to use that. All right, now to do this, we're going to have to edit the composer.json file that's in the root directory. All right, um, this is where you want to include all your add-ons and plugins and all that. So we want to go to this require object here, and we just want to add to this. Okay, so we're going to say uh, Laravel Collective. Uh, I'm sorry, Laravel Collective slash HTML, and we're going to uh, say. 5.0 and that's it so we can save that then we need to go to our command line and we just want to run a uh, composer update now we don't have composer in our actual project folder so we're just gonna add that real quick and you, you can add Composer to your environment variables, so you can access it from anywhere. But uh, this is just this is quicker and easier. So I'm just going to do this. Um, let's see. Just want this PHP command right here. Same thing we did in the htdocs folder. Okay. So now we should be able to say PHP composer.far and update. And what that does is it looks at the composer.json file that we just edited and it looks at the dependencies and installs anything that is new that wasn't there before. So in this case the, the Laravel Collective add-on. Alright, I can close that. All right, and this this documentation is really good. This gives us um, tells us exactly what to do. We already did this. We already ran update, which is it's doing now. Next, we'll have to add some stuff into our config app PHP file. Okay, we just need to add to the providers array and to the aliases. Okay, we'll wait till this is done though. All right, so that's all set. So we have to open up config. Uh, where is it? Config app.php and let's go down to providers and let's grab this. Alright, and then 
for oh wait a minute do we have to put it down here actually that shouldn't matter and then for the aliases let's grab these and put those right here save that and let's see if we get any errors or anything all right so let's try and use it so we'll have to go to our view we need to go to um, views gallery create and let's see we're going to start here so to use this syntax uh, we're going to use this double um, exclamation marks like that and I think we can say form I want to do form open and in here we want an array so let's see we're going to set the action set that to gallery controller and uh, we want this to be the store action alright now since this is gonna include a file upload we need to include the ink type 